it has been debated in art circles that the visual arts in South Africa are moving away from European influences, that our art is becoming more African, or specifically, more South African in character. Transitional art has been lauded by some, discarded by others, but traditional and contemporary black art has entered an exciting period of development. What is important is the fact that a strong new cultural identity is emerging in contemporary black art, which is being depicted in an entirely individual manner. Lucas Sitole's work stands in direct contrast to the beaded sculptures of KwaZulu. He is developed into one of South Africa's most celebrated carvers, a professional artist whose themes are universal and forceful. His work is included in private and corporate collections worldwide. Sitole's sculpture, like that of Eduardo Villa, Sidney Kumalo, Jackson Lungwani, cannot be classified. They produce works which are individual, forceful and independent. Therefore, Sitoli cannot fit into uh, the categories of so-called transitional or acculturated art. His sculpture doesn't spring from uh, cultural change or cultural alienation, and he hasn't been either encouraged or forced by circumstance to look for alternative materials. His favorite material is wood. He says that um, clay is too brittle, stone is just another material, and metal doesn't have any warmth. In tree trunks, broken branches, and trees, he sees analogies with life and with humanity. The mythologies which guide him, and his concepts of a universality find expression in forceful, broken, and expressive forms. 